Many Nigerians consider the 1999 constitution as military driven and that the reference to we, the people in the constitution, does not truly represent them. And between 1999 and now, a number of constitutional reforms have been approved in the past, while some crucial amendments proposing the evolution of power and quotas for the representation of women in the highest echelons of power were also rejected. For Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu, it mustn't be business as usual this time around. He posited that the ongoing constitutional reforms which the country is carrying out right now must reflect the will, wish, expectation and true representation of the people. This as an opportunity for us to continue to re-echo you know, our hold of office, you know, in which let us ensure that it is the greatest good for the greatest number. Let us ensure that indeed, as a nation, we can reflect proper, true fiscal democracy. Um, currently, as we speak, we're going through you know, a constitutional reform. Let that reform, let that changes, let that amendment that will be coming out from, let it be true representation and reflection of what an ordinary citizen want, what a real Nigerian on the street, what they are agitating for, what they want us that are in position of leadership, what they want us to be doing. But the Lagos State Helmsman expected his spoke on June 12, which he said has come to stay as Nigeria's Democracy Day. He noted that there's no alternative to democracy as such. Nigerians must cherish and uphold the standards. But more importantly, is the day that indeed we remember the late MQ Abiola, you know, stood for, that he fought for, you know, but it's also a day to remember, you know, as a day where our democracy was challenged, but we've all been able to come together and realize that there is nothing, there is no alternative to democracy. There is no alternative to democracy where indeed can, there can be freedom of expression, freedom of choice, freedom of movement of our people, and people can indeed express themselves to determine who their real leaders you know, should be at every point in time. I think that's all it stands for, and I want to thank each and every one of us, and God, for sparing our lives to see another June 12 celebration. Earlier, Governor Sawonlu commended the Lagos Initiatives in Technology and Startup Support Program and challenged them to keep raising the bar. This is the future, and it's a future in all spheres, you know, and as a government, we cannot be left out, you know, as a people, we cannot be left out. Technology gives us that opportunity to leapfrog, you know, Anu said it, you want to learn, you want to learn, you want to learn, you want to learn, and you want to leap, you know, so it's, it helps you to leapfrog so that indeed you can be, you know, um, in the room with everybody and anybody and be able to recreate whatever you see as your future. The special advisor to Sonwolu on ICT, Tubosu Alake, in his remarks, maintained that technology is the future and the way to go. Like we saw downstairs, the Africa Agility uh, Girls Boot Camp, that seeks to um, impart skills, technical skills, and close the gender gap in technology. Uh, and so today, I, I really want um, I really want us to picture a future, right, where Lagos, through innovation and technology, is going to be a hub for solutions across sub-Saharan Africa. That is our goal. We will achieve it. In an exclusive interview with the coordinator of the program, Anu Gopard, she spoke passionately on why the training is targeted towards girls. When you look at many organizations in the world, we only have few female representation, especially in the tech space. We have underrepresentation of women. Um, right now in the world, we only have 25% of women in technology. And African girls or African women are 0.000%. So, and um, this became a tipping point for me that women are very smart and intelligent and what they need is the opportunity to be able to take their own position in this in this tech technology space and this is the reason for the girls in tech boot camp um, it's bigger than coding to provide um, opportunities for girls so that they can have equal footing with their male counterparts in the in the technology and due to agile space while soliciting for more support and partnership, GoPads disclosed that they have set out the target of training at least 10,000 girls by the year 2025.
from Ikoyi Lagos, Love Uluwafemi Oyedokun, reporting for Kaftan Television News.